Hey, good morning. We're in 1 Samuel 23 and verses 14 through 18 today. We're going to see Jonathan again. Let's read it. And David stayed in strongholds in the wilderness and remained in the mountains of the wilderness of Ziph. Saul sought him every day, but God did not deliver him into his hand. So David saw that Saul had come out to seek his life, and David was in the wilderness of Ziph in a forest. Then Jonathan, Saul's son, arose and went to David in the woods and strengthened his hand in God. And he said to him, Do not fear, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find you. You shall be king over Israel, and I shall be next to you. Even my father Saul knows that. So the two of them made a covenant before the Lord, and David stayed in the woods, and Jonathan went to his own house. So Jonathan, of course, is the son of Saul. Jonathan is the heir apparent. When Saul dies, Jonathan would presumably become king next. But we know a little bit different than that. God has chosen David, and uh, but Jonathan finds him. Now notice how relentless Saul is, you know, when, when he, David got out of the last scrap, Saul called off the war. Immediately, he would seek him every day. That's what we find in verse 14. But God wouldn't deliver him. And this was a, a thing that Saul fooled himself, that God had delivered David when he, when he went into the city of Keilah, but he, he hadn't. God had not delivered David to Saul. Instead, God delivered David out of Saul's hand. But I notice here that Jonathan comes, and he goes to David in the woods, and I like what it says in verse 16, and strengthened his hand in God. Jonathan was David's close, close friend, and he goes to strengthen his hand. They make another agreement and yet another covenant. I haven't even been counting, have you? How many times have David and Jonathan made a covenant? Quite a few here. Uh, I guess there's no problem with making lots of agreements and covenants with people, you know, especially the same kind of thing over and over. That's what we have here. But I like that Jonathan went to strengthen the hand of David in God. We need to watch for people who need to be strengthened in their service to, the, to God. Jonathan knew that David was needing that kind of strengthening influence, and so he went to him. Is there somebody you know that maybe needs to have their, their hand strengthened? I'll bet there is, and I'll bet that you can do it. Maybe there's somebody you can speak to this week. Just take a little bit of your time and strengthen their hand in God. Find out what's going on in their life, you know, in an appropriate way. And if they need strengthening, you be the agent that does it. How about that? Hey, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for watching over your people. Help us to be right. Help us to seek your pattern, your, seek your path. Lord, help us to keep our radar on and watch for people that you want us to strengthen in the gospel, strengthen in their service to your kingdom. Be our helper in this way. We thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. We thank you that you could use us, even us, to bless others. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey friends, you have a wonderful day. And maybe this week you can strengthen someone else's hand in the Lord. God be with you.